For those of you who are taking discourse analysis, I wanted to provide some group feedback. I went into our shared document for week two in Microsoft Teams and left a few comments per each team. I understand maybe that many of you are still working on your Sway, but once you've completed it, I'm going to ask that you include a link in the Trello board. We'll look at that here in a minute. I was able to access all of the Trello boards except for Team 6. So Team 6, please check your link to make sure that when, when I click on it here, it goes to that Trello board. Uh, if I click on the other, me directly into the board. Uh, for some reason, I, I'm not able to open it up. So double check that link. Now, here's where you can find the link that you can share to your Trello board. I'm going to show you two different ways. If for one reason one doesn't work, the other should. The first way I'll show you here is to go under Show Menu. And make sure that when you open up the Show Menu panel that you're at the menu. Sometimes by default it will open up maybe about this board. If it looks any different than what it appears here, just make sure that you select the back arrow and that should take you to the main menu. Once you're under the main menu, select more and here's where you can find the link to the board. Now this is one way you can access the link. The second way is simply copy and pasting the URL at the top once you're within the ways of accessing the link should work for you. You should be able to just copy that in to the Word document and create a hypertext link here, inserting the link within the Word document. Now, I'm basically looking at two things here for this week. Your, your uh, tasks that you completed and assigned in Trello and the Sway itself. So when you go into Trello, all right, um, try to make sure you have at least one column. I know that I mentioned earlier in the week that you can remove any extraneous information, right? So if there's some cards, perhaps even lists that you're not, you're not going to use, maybe you can remove those. That's fine. Um, you know, the, the idea was probably to remove more cards because these lists, the these were also, this is also information I was asking for you to, to complete. The goals for your task, the roles, the audience, situation, product, right? Maybe standards, uh, standards that were coming from uh, information that we shared earlier in the week. That's called done. And this should include all the tasks that each of you or collectively completed. So you probably had some, uh, some tasks that were specific to either individual team members or groups of team members. And that's where I would like for you to add a card for each of the tasks. So once you add a task, you can name the task. And you can go in here and assign the member or members who completed that particular task. So this was the idea here uh, this past week as you were... Talking as a group, you, you can complete the Trello together in terms of who's going to do which tasks. And Trello is a way for you to help facilitate that process. But this also allows me, as your instructor, to see how you work together and who did what. Who was, you know, who did which type of task. And in this particular performance task, Maybe some of the individual tasks relate to some of the roles that some of you took on as commi committee members of this, of this effort. But one card that we're going to need once you've completed the Sway is, is one, one card that's going to be called either Final Sway or Final Product or maybe you named the Sway itself but that you have one card in the done column with a link. And Trello calls these links attachments. So you can add an attachment as a link. And I would copy and paste the, the link to your Sway in, in this particular card. 
Now you can give it a, a name here as well, just to make it a little cleaner. And then you have, now you have your attachment. All right, so if I close out of this again, I'd maybe put it at the top of your list, open it up, and this is what I would access, right? I would go into this link, this card, click the link, and then go to your Sway for your team. Okay, so that's how I would set up the link in Trello that takes, takes me to your Sway. All right, so that's basically it. I wanted to show you more or less have any technical questions or having some issues trying to get through some of these technologies let me know I know this might be the first time using these two technologies uh, so I understand that uh, just reach out to me if you do have any questions about trying to complete the task try to complete it by Sunday the idea is to share these sways with the probate group starting next week all right so we'll stop there and we'll see everybody on Monday